Many IVF clinics now advise patients that if they want to increase their chance of getting pregnant, they need to use the latest technology, which is called PGT or pre-implantation genetic testing. And they tell them the reason embryos don't implant is because they're genetically abnormal. So that if we do the PGT, we can select the genetically normal embryos and increase your chance of getting pregnant. Makes a lot of intuitive sense, but unfortunately, this is not true in clinical practice. And doctors will hide the truth and actually lie to patients just in order to make more money. And why is the entire PGD technology so flawed? For one thing, we can count the number of chromosomes when we do the embryo biopsy. We can transfer the chromosomally normal embryos. But we can't test for 30,000 genes, which means even if these embryos are chromosomally normal or euploid, they could still have a lethal genetic defect which causes the embryo to fail to implant or to miscarry in spite of spending all that additional money. But doctors do not tell patients this. Also remember the limitation. An embryo is a live ball of cells so that even if some of the cells are abnormal, for example, the biopsy cells may be abnormal, but the rest of the embryo could have normal cells so that could correct for it. And this is also related to what is called mosaicism, which means the biopsy cells are not always representative of the entire embryo. Remember, an embryo is a live ball of cells and it can self-correct. And this is what the big problem is, the problem of false positives and false negatives. The false positive is when the PGD report is abnormal, but actually the rest of the embryo is completely normal, which means you've thrown away a completely normal embryo, which could have become a completely healthy baby. And you ended up reducing your chance of getting pregnant. And similarly, there could be these false negatives, which means the PGD report is normal, which means the chromosomal complement is normal, but the patient still miscarries because the embryo still has a genetic defect. And the one thing doctors don't tell you is whether you do the PGD or not, once you get pregnant, you will still have to do all the standard prenatal diagnostic tests such as NIPT or current biopsy or amniocentesis. So you're really no wiser because these prenatal tests allow us to sample many more cells as compared to the PGD. So if you want to do PGD, that's fine, but don't do it out of ignorance. Understand the pros and the cons and the fact that not only are you not increasing your chance of getting pregnant, you're actually increasing your expense a lot for a completely unproven technology.